Hello, welcome to the video. I'm just outside because it's so beautiful. Um, that's why I have these on. Hope you can hear me well. Let's get started. S starting your day in a positive way, intentional way, conscious way, and making the best of your day, your year, your life, basically, right? Okay, so the card I pulled is Let It Go. Such an important thing. Love the picture, really matches. <laughs> Okay, let it go. Let's see what it says from the Seven Energies deck. Forgiveness, healing and resentments, shedding the role of the eternal martyr, letting go of victimhood. If you can hear the air conditioning, that's just what it is. Cutting the ties that bind you to a destructive story, releasing pain so you can move into the lesson it offers, relinquishing the need to be right. There are times in life when you must get, forgive lest you become a hostage to your anger. This is one thing I've been really, really, really good at because I realize that it only hurts myself and that I, I, you know, everybody's who they are. And I grew up with a bad temper, angry, um, frustrated with life and things. And so I kind of came to that part where I would speak without thinking first and I would react and I would be like this crazy girl sometimes. And so then that really let me know that no one knows what's going inside somebody when they usually people when they act out it is out of fear and out, it's their own stuff it's not really a reflection of you it is that things in their life aren't as they want it to be really they're angry they're in fear something's going on even though they may not show it right so the best thing you can do for you for you is to let it go let them go let the relationship go let your feelings go let your attachment go to them when we're attached to something like what they say how we expect them to be, how we expect them to act, what we expect them to say to us, oh, don't do that because they will probably only disappoint you, right? Let them be who they are. They're on their soul's journey. If you need to remove yourself, remove yourself, you know, from their life or even just keep it really <clears throat> surface level. Let's just say, if you don't forgive, old hurts fester and become distorted, causing you pain over and over again. That's exactly right so really it's about radical forgiveness and that includes with yourself and this is something that I had to come to realize to forgive myself forgive myself because like I said the anger I had the ways I acted I I used to make and still kind of do sometimes really emotional decisions like I would shut things down and walk away shut things down and walk away throw things out like literally get rid of things quit a job quit this just do it like the only way I knew how to end something that I like something I wasn't happy with was to walk away, end it, throw it away, get rid of it, bang, gone. And then of course later it was like, oh my God, I overreacted. I shouldn't have done that but with so many things or say things I completely regret it. So I had to forgive myself and I still do things like that. So it's like constant every day. I'm just human. I'm learning. I'm getting better. I feel that I'm getting better. I see that I'm getting better. Compassion for myself. It's okay. I know now to do better next time, right? So do that for yourself and others. And today I'm reading from the book, The Life You Were Born to Live by Dan Millman. This has a bit of um, numerology in it, but today it, uh, I'm gonna read one of the laws of the universes, which is the law of balance. Balance applies to us on cosmic, biological, personal levels to body, mind, and emotions, reminding us that anything we do, we can overdo and underdo, and that if our internal pendulum swings to one side, it will inevitably swing to the other. We all know this. We all know this. The thing I want to say about this is there's really no perfect balance in your life, like saying, oh, every area is just amazing. And especially certain times of your life, certain times of your life, there may be one area that's way off just because something has come up, something's there, you need to take care of something. Don't worry about it. Do the best you can. That's why I do these morning videos and why I do a morning um, practice every single day. That is my area, my time to hold on to something that is for me, right? So commitment to yourself is the best way you can get through those moments when you're giving a lot to something else that needs to be, you know, at this time of your life. So it's like, okay, I'm still choosing me. I'm still having time for me. I'm still putting myself as a priority in these ways and stick to it, stick to it, right? And remember, body, mind, soul. 
So what am I doing today for my body, feeding my body, healthy foods, nourishing foods, drinking nourishing things, right? Even if it's okay, if you have other things that aren't so great, you want to make sure you're getting in as much good as possible. It's not all or nothing. It's this and that, right? And then um, for your soul or for your spirit, which can be your morning practice, same for mind, noticing what are my thoughts? How am I reacting, overreacting? What am I getting caught up in? Am I trying to control things? Am I trying to take on too much of other people's stuff? Can I let some things go? Can I delegate? Can I give some things to other people? Allow them to grow. Allow them to learn their lessons. Me, focus on me, my life, my lessons, doing what I need to do, moment by moment, minute by minute, great, step by step, be in the moment, what's next? What do you need to do now? Then what's the next thing you need to do now, right? That is such a good way of not getting caught up in that overwhelm, <clears throat> that chaos, letting other people's stuff come in, um, not focusing on you, like putting yourself completely last. That's why in the morning is so important. Start your stuff in the morning, have time for you. And then that, that makes you realize, oh, right, like you get in such a habit of it. And then during the day, if you could find time to just tune into you, take some deep breaths. Um, <clears throat> at lunch, when I worked at our offices, I always used to go and go to a coffee shop and read a book. Even if it was for a half an hour, I'd find a coffee shop really close. Even if I was there for just 15 minutes. It was something just for me to get away from things to help, again, balance my energies in a way, right? Balance your energies, like go of allowing other junk to come in because we can absorb it back to yourself, back to, ooh, back to nourishing yourself, back to being good to you, right? <clears throat> um, just want to see if that says anything else. Nah, that's all. I don't need to talk about anything else that they say right here because really the message is the message, right? It's not about having a perfectly balanced life. I don't know anybody that really does. Maybe, anyways, let's not get into that because <laughs> it'd be a few people. Don't beat yourself up, but choose to still have you as a priority. Do things that bring you joy every day, even if that's 10 minutes a day. You have the time. I know you do. You have, I don't, I don't want to say make time because you have the time. So you choose to put yourself as a priority. You choose to do something for you each day. You choose. Remember that you have the choice. Everything else is going to be there always. Don't put yourself in the back burner anymore. All right, have an absolutely amazing day. Let me know um, what you thought of this. Like or sub and subscribe. Make sure you have, feel free to share this video. And I will back with, be back with another video real soon. Thanks.